In this video, I'm gonna start over on a brand new account and try to get as far as I can in just one hour. If you guys wanna see more parts of this, comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. All right, as soon as I loaded up the game, I instantly got taken to Desert Temple. So without more said, let's just go ahead and start. All right, here we go. Now, to be honest, I actually haven't really played this new Desert Temple at all. So we're gonna see how far I can get in just one hour. And like I said before, if you guys wanna see more of this, comment down below because I might do six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, or more. All right, looks like we're about to get our first level up. Boom, there we go, level two. Can't really add my skill points yet. There's no like inventory or anything. All right, we're going through this pretty easily and I'm already halfway through level two. I wonder what level we'll get by the end of this round. There we go, we're level three already. I don't know if this map has changed at all, but I don't remember these gold piles in the floor. And I thought there was a first boss there, but I guess not. Or have I not reached it yet? I'm not sure. It looks like we're just gonna have to find out. Maybe that boss isn't in easy mode, but it's probably in medium or hard mode. Alright, there we go. We leveled up to level 4, and there's one thing that's different to the old Desert Temple. Warrior is much better than Mage, I think. So I'm gonna be starting off as a warrior until we get to probably Winter Outpost. There we go. We're completely destroying this dungeon. Okay, we're on the Sand Golem. Another thing I just noticed, we don't have a timer, so I guess this really is just the tutorial. Oh, wow, I just got hit. Okay, I actually don't know what this boss does at all, so I'm probably gonna get hit a lot. Okay, I'm getting hit so much, but I think we should be good. There we go, he's gonna jump on us. Slowly taking down his health. Alright, this should be it. Yeah, there we go. We're level 5. Okay. And there we go. The boss has an animation. Oh, we just got a purple axe. I'm pretty sure that's a warrior weapon as well. That's so good. Alright, looks like it's telling us to upgrade our new weapon. So I'm gonna go quickly do that. Alright, right here. We're gonna press physical, I guess. Oh, it doesn't even want us to spend all. I'm gonna go ahead and spend all anyway, because it is purple. So now I can go to my inventory and equip it. I can go to skills, add physical points. Alright, there we go. Now I can do it on medium. Alright, let's go. We're doing so much more damage. And this is medium mode. There we go, level six. Yeah, now that we're in medium mode, my fireball doesn't really do that much damage. So I'm gonna have to kind of rely on the whirlwind. And I can also just melee them, so that's actually really good. There we go, we're already level seven, wow. Okay, that was actually really quick. It looks like we gained so much XP in this new desert temple. Yeah, there we go, now we're doing so much more damage already. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now we have the sand scorpion. So it looks like it's not in easy mode. Alright, he goes forward just like the other boss. Let's see how quick we can take him down. There we go, and we're level 8. We just leveled up to level 8, and from that boss alone, we're already almost level 9. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now we're level 9. There we go, we're level 10. Yeah, this is too easy. We're about eight minutes in and we're already level 10. That is just insane. All right, here we go. We're about to kill the Sangolem for the second time, and we just leveled up to level 11. Let's see what we can get. Oh! Okay, we got Adept Warrior Armor and a new sword. Oh, it's spell power, though. All right, let's go. Let's see how OP we are now. Okay, there we go. Just like that. We can practically two-shot the mobs, and we just leveled up to level 12. If I had another one of these whirlwind attacks, I would be so OP. Unfortunately, the fireball doesn't really do too much for me anymore, so I'm better off just smacking them with my sword. All right, here we go. We're on the Sand Scorpion. I'm pretty sure I'll level up. I might even level up twice. Let's see, though. I'm not too sure how much XP this actually gives me. Okay, yeah, we're doing so much damage to this thing. It's practically already almost dead. Yeah, there we go. All right, we leveled up once and I already got halfway through. 
There we go, level 14. We're making pretty good progress so far. All right, here we go, the sand golem. And I'm pretty sure after this, we'll make it to hard mode. I'm pretty sure level 15 is hard mode. We'll see if we even level up from this though. Oh yeah, I'm killing him really quickly. Boom, there we go, level 15, yeah. Oh, let's go. We got guardian armor and we got a new warrior spell. All right, I'm gonna equip the slam ability. This should be so much better than having to use fireball. And now we're in hard mode, so let's actually see how hard these mobs are. Okay, not at all. I completely one-shot them with the slam ability. All right, I'm gonna run through with the whirlwind, let's see. Yeah, there we go, and I'm already level 16. Yeah, just with the gear I have alone, I'm already taking care of this too easily. We're already level 17. Wow, this gives us so much XP. All right, let's see how fast we can take down the Sand Scorpion. Yeah, we're doing so much damage. Oh, he's running away from us. There we go, level 18, and we're already almost level 19. That gave us so much XP. Yeah, there we go, now we're level 19. All right, we just leveled up to level 20. Oh my gosh. Wow, that thing actually almost killed me. All right, I'm half health. I actually have to be careful. All right, the attacks only do about like 11 damage, so I should be good. Oh gosh, I actually should be careful. I do not want to die. That should be pretty embarrassing. Maybe I shouldn't have put hardcore mode on. I really underestimated this boss. I keep getting hit. Oh no, I'm actually going to die. And of course I miss. Oh my gosh, I'm 1 HP. There's no way I just lost. Okay, well, I just lost in Desert Temple, but hopefully I can actually beat it this time. I did do hardcore mode again because I feel like I could have beaten it. I just got hit like right before the boss. So hopefully this time we can actually beat it. Yeah, I really need to learn how to dodge the final boss. I kept getting hit by that one where it would just spread out the circles. I have no idea how to predict that. Well, hopefully that loss doesn't affect what level we get to because that would actually be really sad. There we go, level 22. We're about 20 minutes in and we're level 22, so we're still doing really good. I'm pretty sure I got to level 26 the last time I tried this. So this new dungeon is definitely helping us out. All right, here's why I actually gotta be careful. The one warlock actually hit me really hard, which I'm pretty sure is why I died. So yeah, that attack right there completely drained my health somehow. But now we're on the sand golem with full health, so we should be good. Hopefully I just don't get hit every single time. Okay, that attack right there. I have no idea how to dodge that. I just got to get really lucky, I guess. Okay, I have no idea how that just missed. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right. I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that. Yeah, this, this doesn't feel like... I don't know if I'm just bad, but I swear I can't dodge this. Yeah, I think I have to get further back, but these, these attacks have to be really close. All right, there you go, four HP. Yes, and we leveled up to level 24. Oh, okay, we got a purple mage helmet and a steel executioner. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, we're doing so much more damage with this new weapon. And I didn't even upgrade it. There we go, we're level 25 already. All right, now let's really see how quickly we can take down the sand scorpion. There we go, level 26 as well. That was so quick. Uh, and it even has this yellow trail to follow, just so you know where to go. There we go, just completely walk through them. Alright, we just gotta be careful for the warlock. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we can get like a legendary or something, that would be sick. And that would help us get to a higher level really fast. I also do need a helmet though. All right, there we go. Level 27. 
Oh, perfect. I just got a sandstone warrior helmet. All right, so I finally have a full set, which means we should be completely flying through this dungeon. And in just three levels, we'll already be in winter outposts. And we're only about 25 minutes into the challenge. There we go, level 28, and we're on the sand scorpion. There we go, that was so much quicker than last time. I'm definitely curious how difficult Winter Outpost will be with all of this new gear and spells. There we go, level 29. We might have to do one more dungeon, and then we'll finally be in Winter Outpost. Oh yeah, we do so much damage to the sand goal. I still can't believe I died to this guy. Boom, there we go. Already dead, just like that. Let's see what we get. Oh, let's go. We got a new weapon and purple warrior armor. All right, so I might actually just leave the game as soon as I get to level 30. Unless this desert temple gives more XP than winter outposts, which I think it shouldn't. But yeah, this new armor is so OP. We're completely tearing through these mobs. There we go, level 30. I'm gonna go ahead and just reset. All right, here we are. We're finally in Winter Outpost, and I've also been saving my daily reward in case I struggle. All right, I'm really curious to see how well will we do with this new stuff. Okay, not too bad. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it is a lot more difficult. Okay, I've already taken so much damage. This is a huge downgrade compared to the new Desert Temple, I can't lie. Oh my gosh, how are they hitting me? Okay, I definitely gotta be careful. All right, I just gotta keep my distance because these frost minions are hitting me from so far away. All right, hopefully I can level up soon because I am getting pretty low on health. Okay, yeah, this is so much slower. All right, there we go, level 31. I might actually have to upgrade my gear. I actually haven't even upgraded any of my gear yet. I guess Desert Temple is just that easy. Hold on, I almost forgot. I actually have to add my skill point as well. For some reason, it doesn't tell me now. Right, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to group all these up and see how quick we can kill them. Oh, this might be a bad idea. All right, no, we're good. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but the walking sound effect of the mobs. All right, here we go. Let's see. And then one slam. Boom, there we go. Now I just have to clean up these frost wizards. Alright, after this round, I'm definitely going to upgrade my gear unless I get something new. There we go, level 32. Alright, yeah, Winter Outpost is definitely a much harder than the new Desert Temple. I can't wait for them to revamp this one. Alright, after these wizards, there we go, we're on the Ice Elemental. Hopefully I can actually kill this thing. Oh gosh. Uh oh. We're doing like no damage. Okay, I just died. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade all my gear because I wasn't doing that much damage. Alright, there we go. I completely maxed out all of my gear, so hopefully I should be doing so much more damage. And by the way, we have about 25 minutes left of this challenge. I also took off hardcore mode because I'm not sure if I'll even be able to do the last boss. I'm pretty sure the hitboxes are like really weird. I don't even want to risk it. Technically, we're trying to level up as many times as possible, so the loot shouldn't matter too much. Although the extra item would definitely help. Yeah, as you can see, I've already taken so much damage. I'm better off just doing non-hardcore. There we go, level 33. Okay, I keep forgetting to add my skill points. They should definitely add back the little plus. It was actually really useful. I don't know why they got rid of it. Hopefully that's just a glitch or something. Okay, I've already taken so much damage. Yeah, there's not much room in this dungeon to hit the mobs. Especially when the range is so long for melee. But yeah, upgrading my gear definitely did help a lot. We're getting through this so much faster now. There we go, level 34. Okay, yeah, this is definitely so much quicker. I don't know why I didn't upgrade my gear from the start. I guess I really underestimated the power of Winter Outpost. I did not expect it to be this difficult. My gosh, I'm getting hit so much. I'm definitely gonna die on this boss. Yeah, with this slam attack, I have to get really close. But then when I get really close, like, these attacks are so weird. Oh, I completely forgot about the ice minions and they're way faster than me as well. All right, I think I have to back up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that. Oh no, the ice minions, they spawned right on top of me. 
I don't know why they're faster. Okay, only a little bit of health left. Okay, and yeah, I'm dead. I just got completely stacked by those lines. All right, but we should only have to do like a few more attacks. And there we go. We finally beat it. And we got a holy grail. I don't even think that's good. All right, we only have about 20 minutes left of the challenge. So I'm going to get my daily because it probably could help me out. Hopefully, I get something good. Oh, I got a purple mage hood and some warrior weapons. The mage hood could definitely help, but I was kind of hoping to get something like a spell. I might have to switch to mage if I can get a better spell. Yeah, they definitely need to fix the range of these mobs, bro. I get hit from so far away. Hopefully, I can at least make it to medium mode by the end of this challenge. There we go, level 35. And I just completely lost all the health that I gained from that. Yeah, bro, these mobs definitely need to get fixed. Hold on, I completely forgot about the skill points. There we go, we're level 36 and we're almost on the final boss. So hopefully this time we can actually get something useful. All right, here we are. Hopefully I don't die too much. Yeah, I'm not sure I didn't get hit there. Yeah, I don't know. Those those hitboxes are really weird. All right, yeah, and then they're faster than me, bro. I can't do anything, I'm dead. Yeah, um, when is the winter outpost revamp again? Oh my gosh, these minions, I can't. All right, come on, it should be dead now. Boom, there we go. Of course, I just get absolute trash. Okay, because there's not too much time left in the challenge, I'm going to quickly upgrade this sword. Okay, yeah, that is a huge upgrade. All right, we have only about like 10 minutes left in the challenge, and I at least want to get to level 40, so hopefully we can do it. Okay, yeah, this sword is definitely helping a lot. I was just wishing we could get like a new spell or new armor. Oh my gosh, they hit me from so far away. All right, at least my slam attack one-shots them, which is so good. The thing is, I have to get so close, and I just realized I put hardcore mode on. Oh, gosh. I did not realize I did that, nor did I mean to do that. All right, well, now that I just noticed that, I definitely have to be more careful. I don't think I'll even survive the last boss. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to group them up here. Hopefully, I don't get completely one-shot. Please. There we go, level 37. We're back to full health. Now I actually just need to keep it. I'm probably going to die on the last boss, but I'm going to try my best to dodge the attacks. And hopefully we can win. I'm not too sure though. Let's just see what happens. All right, here we are. Ice elemental. Come on. I'm just going to try to hit it and then get as far away as possible. Uh-oh. Oh. All right. I really don't want to get close to the minions. All right, there we go. Already half health. All these minions, bro. They're too close. Oh. All right. Okay, yeah, that was definitely not my fault. I wouldn't understand if I died to maybe like the line or the minions, but bro, just completely spawned like five spikes on top of me, bro. How am I supposed to dodge that? If only I didn't put hardcore mode on. I did not mean to do that. There we go, level 38. We have around seven more minutes left in the challenge. Can we get to level 40? I just have to stop dying, bro. We definitely need new loot. All right, here we go. We're on the last boss. And this time it's not in hardcore mode. And I definitely did do that a lot faster. So I think we actually might make it to level 40. Oh, gosh. Yeah, see, that's that's what I don't like. All right, but we are doing a lot of damage. Okay, and I am being kind of careless right now. Let me actually try to dodge. Oh, gosh. Nah, the minions. Please. Oh, my gosh. No. And, of course, the spikes just spawn. All right, but it should take one more slam. I don't know how that didn't hit me. All right, there we go. What did I get? A snowy gray staff. Okay, that's actually really good, but not quite what I need. We have five more minutes left. Can we make it to level 40, please? There we go. We're level 39. Come on, we have two minutes left. Please, I really need something good here. Come on. No. That's so bad. Okay, I've done hardcore mode because this is literally the last round. If I die, that means we won't make it to level 40. I really want to hit level 40. Otherwise, I think I've failed you guys. Come on, I really think we can do it. I think we have about a minute left. So let's see if we can actually level up to level 40. Come on, we're almost there. Please. Let's go. We got to level 40. And we just unlocked the apprentice title. I'm going to equip that just so you know we made it. All right, so that was the end of the challenge. We made it to level 40 just barely. I think I could have probably made it further if I didn't die those few times. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Should I do more parts of this?